tired of wearing the same old clothes every day? Does what once seemed new and exciting now seem boring and overdone? Do you want to make all of your old clothes seem new again? <clears throat> well then, this is the video for you. <laughs> what is up, beautiful people? It's Amber, welcome back to my channel, and welcome to one of the many videos in my Amber School series. Get it, Amber School? Cause like Amber Scholl, my last name, Scholl School. <laughs> Hilarious, no, okay. Anyways, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make all of your old clothes look new again because as a personal, uh, shall I say, hoarder myself, I'm always looking for tips and tricks to make my old stuff look new and fun. So today I'm gonna to show you all insider scoop on how to make all your old stuff brand spanking new all while wearing this fuzzy jacket for literally no reason aside of the fact that I was in an extra mood, as always. So without further ado, Bippity boppity boo. How to make all your old clothes look new again. Magic. <laughs> Alrighty kids, we're just gonna get right into it. <clears throat> Less is more. Sometimes things don't look good quite simply because there are too much of them. Unlike matcha lattes and cute puppy kisses as to which you can never have enough, sometimes there is too much fabric. So cut it off. Like long skirt drowning you with too much coverage? Club it up! Boring t-shirt? Chop off the sleeves. Cut it, cut it good. There's all sorts of fun different ways to cut up a perfectly good shirt, but here are a few of my personal favorites. Like take this old gray shirt for example. All you really gotta do is take the scissors, snippity snip the back a couple slits right there, maybe on the bottom for some fringy action, and you can see now it looks aptly like you've been attacked by a tiger, but in a very cool way. <laughs> Tip number two. More is also more. A quick fix to jazz up old clothes is to add things to it. Lace, patches, you name it, you add it. There's nothing a good sparkle can't fix. Give jean shorts the old razzle dazzle by adding some lace to the bottoms. Yes sis, bootyful. Adding applique to a denim jacket personalizes it and makes it more fun than your average denim look. Oh yes, we love a fashionable DIY patchy queen. Heck, you can even do the same things to your jeans. Go ahead and grab a few patches and, you know, willy-nilly just kind of put them all over the place. They'll look great, your booty will look great, and everything about your life will be perfect. Okay, not really, but your jeans will look great. Boring bikini? Throw some crystals on it! Boring, fabulous, boring, fabulous, boring, fabulous. Stitching crystals on anything is a surefire way to make anything look group oo oo like try adding crystals to the bottom of your jean shorts for an Instagrammable booty. Groovy booty. Love that. She bangs, she bangs, she's got butterfly on her butt, her butt, okay baby. <laughs> I'm gonna get copyrighted for this, okay. In fact, throw crystals on everything. Even when it's pointless, this makes the world a better place. Tip number three, reduce, reuse, restyle. Also please recycle. Saving the world is important, kids. Even just tying a shirt a different way can make a huge difference. Restyle your business tops for the weekend by tying them up. Look at that cowgirl chic. Or my personal favorite tip, heck, just take off your pants. <laughs> oh my god, oh look! Hashtag team no pants. Even just throwing something off your shoulder instead of the way you're supposed to wear it instantly can totally change the look. So don't be afraid to get creative. That's when the best looks happen. Tip number four, accessorize. That bland black jacket you have that you've never worn doesn't have to be a snooze vest. Accessories take anything from drab to fab. A fire necklace, some saucy shoes, even add some tights. Your boring old jacket is now a fashion masterpiece. Beyonce would be proud. Not to mention, this is a surefire way to get the most bang for your buck, because one outfit can be 10 outfits when styled properly. And that, my friends, is an OG broke bitch tip. Like, oh my gosh, do you guys even remember this video? This is so funny. Um, I just hit 5,000 subscribers the other day, so thank you so much for subscribing and <laughs> that's crazy. Not to mention, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel even when my eyebrows looked like this. Y'all the real MVPs. All right, next tip. Be your own sugar daddy. <laughs> Whoops, wrong tip, wrong video. But do be your own fashion designer. Maybe those old jeans you bought would look better as shorts. So cut them into shorts. Basically, all you have to do is just that, cut them. And maybe that dress you bought would maybe be a cuter crop top and skirt. There's no limits on what you can do. Hashtag cheese fest, okay. Next tip, old shoes, no problem. 
as a huge proponent of buying infinite numbers of new shoes. Have you ever been in love? Just with my shoes. After all, the more the merrier. How many shoes do you have? Uh, never enough. I am also a big believer in never letting shoes go. So when you get tired of them, very rare by the way, try something simple like just replacing the laces. Use funky ribbon or even just a new color or style will add some flair to once boring kicks. Need a steeper makeover? Glue something funky to the sides. Makes them look brand spanking new. Number seven, personalize it. Fashion is art anyway, so why not add your own twist? Personalize everything. Add your name or whatever you want to a shirt, a bag. It's a fun fix to make anything not only custom, but fashionable AF too. Tip number eight, fit is dress just a little bit, a lot bit, tighter. <laughs> Make the jacket more form-fitting. If it fits good, it's gonna look good. It barely even matters what you're wearing. And that has always been the ultimate fashion tee. Numero nuevo, phone in the professionals. Take it to the tailor, sis. They can do amazing things you might not be able to do on your own. Or if you're on a stricter budget, watch some YouTube videos. Now would also be a perfect time to suggest subscribing to my channel, but in all seriousness, there are dozens of videos online, not just mine, showing you quick fixes to even stuff that seemed entirely hopeless. Like remember this? Or this? Nothing is ever impossible with a little bit of E6000 glue and some glitter. And tip number 10, the most important tip of all, Confidence is key. As I've always said, anything is a look if you want it to be. So even if it's old and a little rough around the edges, just bring it back. Confidence is key and vintage is in anyway. So rock on, sis. Wear your juicy tracksuit in style and make P. Hill proud. And that, my friends, is how to make old clothes look new again tuning into this episode of uh, Amber teaches you a bunch of stuff that she knows about. As always, don't forget to subscribe for lots more very professional, highly refined educational videos. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys next time. Enjoy your old uh, new clothes and I will see you guys very soon. I love ya. Kisses till next time, my loves. XO. Bum, ba -dum, bum. <laughs> this is what happens when I film at 1 a.m. Definitely makes the new look old. Or no. Definitely makes these old sweatpants look, I mean, I wouldn't really say new, but definitely a different look. I can't believe anyone takes advice from me.